participating federal government agency, not guaranteed by the bank, may go down with value. It is the voice of Indiana County. It is WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. Each month we have the opportunity to talk with students from the Indiana Junior High School. We have two more with us this morning. Our conversation is brought to you by Marcus and Mack, voted Best Personal Injury Law Firm in the Best of Indiana County Contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. We have two young ladies in the studio with us this morning. Morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to have you both with us here today. What you got for us? Um, good morning, Indiana. Over the past month, Stuka has been working very hard to help kick off PBIS. As you may have heard last month, Stuka has organized badges for the whole school. The badges say their first, last name, and grade number. They also have a barcode that teachers can scan to get points if students are being respectful or positive. Students are supposed to wear or have the badges with them every day. To kick this off, PBIS put on a carnival-style event on Friday, September 15th. The whole school got to participate in games and even a dance. Last month, Stuco held elections on Thursday, September 28th. We accepted 12 new members. These new members will help existing members complete or start initiatives. Every Friday, we have two members from each grade to go outside their lunch period and sell Indiana high school football tickets. These tickets admit one student that goes to the Indiana Junior High School or High School. Lastly, this month's spotlight is on computer concepts. Our teachers for this subject are Mrs. Brocious and Mr. Lakaitis. The 8th grade students are writing an MLA report on a chosen career, creating a letterhead and a business letter, and creating an Excel spreadsheet using formulas on creating charts and graphs. In 7th grade, they are doing a stock market challenge where the students will buy stocks and try to make the most money. They are also learning about internet safety and digital citizenship. The sixth graders are working on their typing skills and financial literacy. Wow, that's a lot going on at Indiana Junior High. Now, we haven't been introduced to you, so let's let's learn who you are. Um, I'm Ellery Van Hoos, and I'm Morgan Blystone. All right, and uh, what grade are you in? Eighth. You're in eighth grade? Yeah. You're in eighth grade as well? Yeah. All right, wonderful. So tell me about the start to the school year. Has it been fun? Um, it's been pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. What about for you? Yeah, same. Yeah. Okay, so what are you missing today to be here? What 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 class did you uh, skip out of to come down here? I missed art. Art? What are you doing in art? Um, we're making something like a metal piece or keychain that represents us as a person. Uh-huh. Oh, cool! Is that something you enjoy? It's kind of hard. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How are you making it? Um, we're like carving out a piece of metal. Um. We're, like, picking our favorite things and making them into, like, a symbol. Mm -hmm. And then we're carving it out of metal. Mm -hmm. Wow. We never did anything like that in art class. That sounds like it's actually kind of fun. Do you enjoy art class? Um, Sometimes. Sometimes, but not always. What is your favorite topic? Um, I like math most of the time. Oh, yeah? Most of the time. <laughs> there are times when math gets a little bit too challenging, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so you do that. Uh, you've got English, up, I'm, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and what other extracurricular activities do you enjoy? Um, I do volleyball, track, cross country, um, flag football, and lacrosse. There's a heck of a lot of athletics involved with you, huh? Yeah. Wow, wow. Are there other things besides athletics that you do? Um, sometimes I go. Um, hang out with my friends, but mostly mm -hmm. sports take up most of my time. Yeah, yeah. What do you enjoy most about sports? Um, I like staying in shape and, like, having the satisfaction of doing well. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. You like competing, too, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, wonderful. It's good to good to meet you. You're on student council, of course. Yeah. That's why you're here. All right. Now, on the other microphone this morning, uh, I'm, I'm guessing you like cross country, too, because you got the shirt for it today. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about your uh, your favorite classes at school. Um, my favorite one's probably math too. Yeah. Uh huh. Why? What? What appeals to you about math? Um, probably the fact that like my friends are in it, and like most of the time we get to do like group work, and that's I really enjoy group work. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, uh, what are you missing to be here today? What were you? Would you be taking? Gym. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, you're you're in athletics. I bet you you'd rather not miss gym. Maybe sometimes. Yeah. So cross country, obviously, by your shirt. But what other things do you like to do beyond classwork? Um, I like to, I play softball and, like, basketball. Mm -hmm. So I like doing those, too. 
but mm -hmm. I also like playing with my friends and hanging out with them. Yeah, could you come a little closer to the microphones for us? Yeah. There you go. There you go. That's that's much better. So so what about eighth grade is uh, is fun for you? Um, probably like the fact that we get to do like child development. That's really fun. Mm -hmm. We get to learn about like finances and stuff and kind of consumer science. Wow, wow, that that is a lot. So you're enjoying the year. Yeah. Beautiful. And and you too. You're having fun with the year too. Yes. Well, that's terrific. I'm glad you both came to visit with us today and tell us what's happening with uh, with the junior high and with uh, student council. Some of the student council things that you do through the course of the year, I know, are pretty exciting. Uh, are there things that you're looking forward to with the student council this year? Um, I like to organize the dance with um, my friends mm -hmm. um, and, like, decorating for it. Yeah. Yeah, that's always fun. What about you? Um, yeah, same as her. I'm part of the dance, too. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, hey, good. Thanks for coming by to tell us all about it. We're going to get Principal Minnick to come in and visit with us today, too, as he's here. He might want to lift that microphone up just a little bit. There good morning, Mr. Marino. How are you? I'm wonderful. Yourself? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you for having us. It is our pleasure to have you. You brought us a couple of great ones here today. I'll tell you, uh, as I'm standing here watching these two, uh, you know, it, I'm, I'm very thankful for a lot of things. Number one, they're great representatives of our student council and of our and of our school as a whole. They're young ladies. They're finding their inner strength and becoming leaders in the school through student council. They've had excellent role models with both uh, Hillary Hubbard and uh, Jenna Chaycott throughout the years. Those are our teacher sponsors of student council. Mm -hmm. So they get them involved with meaningful work in the school to make it um, a positive um uh, safe culture. That's what PBIS really is about, recognizing good behavior and celebrating good behavior and teaching kids, you know, how to become uh, positive members of a community. They're also good representatives of our athletics teams. They're in cross country right now. We have great coaches with uh, Ken and Jamie, Jamie Brannon. They just set a good tone for uh, developing runners for the high school program, who's right now coached by uh, Candy Lockard. And I just feel like we have a really good pipeline of uh, strong athletes, good students, good people. Mm -hmm. And I can't think of a, uh, you know, a better example to lead with on these programs, these opportunities to promote the school, than uh, young ladies and gentlemen who are, who are really uh, finding themselves, finding their strengths, um, successful in the classroom, and, and learning how to be leaders. And especially uh, for young ladies, that's, that's exciting to see that. I mean, they're talking about staying in shape and pushing themselves and developing yeah. programs. It's just, it's just good stuff. So I, I almost feel like a proud father here today. It's <laughs> like I, I listen to all these wonderful things, and it, it really does touch, uh, touch a chord in my heart because uh, these, these kids are our future, and um, we, we, we are really, really blessed to have such great, great le uh, leadership in the school, showing them their way. So it's um, it's a good day. Well, junior high is such a great transition time for students. Um, it is because they're you know the elementary schools as wonderful a job as they do. Uh, kids grow up, and yep. as they grow up, they begin to uh, spread their wings a little bit and to uh, take on more responsibility. And junior high is a great place for that to all begin. It's really important that they have good mentors and. Uh, whether they be other students or they be uh, teacher leaders or others within the school system itself. I know junior high takes a great pride but also great pleasure in, in setting them up for success. So true. I mean, that, that statement was a loaded statement, and it hit right to the core of what makes junior high both fulfilling, gratifying, but also extremely challenging because as kids are – discovering their individual strengths and um, just their, their from, from within themselves to, you know, uh, their external strengths and uh, finding how to spread your wings in a way that's serving yourself as far as re reaching personal goals and dreams, but also uh, positive members of a community. And uh, it makes it tricky. Junior high can be tricky. And we have a wonderful staff at the junior high. We have great resources uh, but it's a continuous growth model for all of us. I mean, we, we implemented this new program uh, for helping us better meet kids where they are from an academic standpoint. It's mm -hmm. called MTSS, and that stands for multi-tiered systems. Um, and and, and the, the, the obvious piece of that is that we need to meet kids who are all over the map in terms of learning and ability 
and um, helping support them rise to their highest self. And, and the MTSS is a is a way that we're we're learning how to implement that as a whole team right now. We're learning how to meet the needs of students that are struggling as well as the high flyers. And so it makes the worth the work really worthwhile work. Um, but uh, uh, it is exciting. And, and as you you stated at the before we went on air, is uh, today is it National Mental Health Day? World World, World Mental World Health, Mental Health Day. Day. Yeah. I didn't know that, so I learned something new coming in here today. All of these things are so important for our personal wellness to know that we have mentors, leaders, friends that we can collaborate with and learn from, and that we're not in it alone, but yet we're striving to find our individual strengths and uh, uh, achieve our dreams too. So it's it's a good time. Well put. Well put. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you for bringing the young ladies with you today. Thanks for the visit. We appreciate that. Likewise. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS.